Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry and Uncle Larry, rather. Uh, and I'm building crap. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to do. I got three big jobs to do right now. I have that big stone pile that Tom needs to get his butt out here and start doing. You could have actually did some today while I was doing my stuff. Um, I also have this snow plow over here and I hope to God it doesn't snow before I rig this up one of my one of my zero turn but I have it I have it here sitting outside I keep it under the overhang I had to move it to get in the shed but uh, anyway so I'm starting to build the shed because the priority right now is the shed I have to show Tom how to how to uh, what to do with the stone so that's partly my fault too um, so yeah let me show you what I got done today so far I had to work on a platform and if you remember me telling you about how it has to be level well I didn't want to build a wooden platform for it I wanted to use this asphalt pad that's already here so I have it pretty level <laughs> pretty level uh, we'll see when I start putting together how bad it is but anyway what, what you have to do after you get it level is you have to get it so that it's anchored down see it, so it so the wind doesn't come and blow this thing often and, and I didn't show this to you guys but what you do is you use these things these are for anchor bolts in concrete or in asphalt and what you do is you, you have to use a hammer drill now you might ask what's a hammer drill well it's exactly what it sounds like um, it actually has two ways that it can work and work like a regular drill but if you put it in a hammer mode it actually is like do, 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 hammer and why it's drilling at the same time and you have to use a masonry bit so what you do is you drill the hole there and then what you do is you take this and you hammer that into the with a regular hammer hammer it down into the asphalt or concrete and then you tighten this and as you tighten this as you can see on this end it's flared out so it pulls it up and it pulls this metal it spreads it out and it grabs into the concrete or the asphalt so that it anchors it down um, yeah so that's what I did around here that end over there I have it under blocks of wood because it's not that's the only way I could get it level I'm just going to screw it into the blocks of wood these anchors are going to be enough right here to to hold that down but I want to show you something I want to show you how much oh my gosh I want the the instruction booklets this fat I imagine it is but look at all these pieces guys yeah you know what um, when when uh, my wife's was move uh mother was moving down to uh florida we got a lot of tools and everything so I, they had this big big old level and i was like oh i only got like a little little one so i was like oh, i'll take it right so i i'm like that's right i got that big level so i get it out here and i put it down and i'm like there's no freaking water in it there's nothing in the middle see it's broken that sucks yeah so I had to use my uh, piece of wood with my regular level. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how the parts are. Like, I have some of the parts over here. This one I didn't even start opening this all this stuff out because this is almost all the sides of it. That's the color of it. And if you could see, like, look, look at all these pieces in the bags. I mean, look at how many screws. At least they're labeled. Look at how many screws. Look at how many screws. Look at bolts. I feel like I'm getting screwed. <laughs> but yeah, so this is gonna be probably quite a few days for me to get this thing going, uh, to get it up and everything. So bear with me. I'm just gonna do a little bit out of a t at a time. It'll probably be a long time by the time I get done that this video is gonna get to go out. But uh, there's gonna be parts where I'm gonna to have to have Tom come out here and actually give me a hand because it says that you need three people, which I can't imagine. But uh, yeah, we gotta find a third. Joe, what you doing? Yo, bump. All right, well, anyway guys, that's the first part I did today. It took me a few hours to do it. Uh, my next step tomorrow is gonna be, I have to put the doors together over there and get some trusses together and stuff like that. And I'll try to take the vlog camera because I'll be starting before Tom is up and ready. So, um, yeah, this is my life right now. I like doing it. It's just, uh, it just seems like this one is gonna be a little overwhelming. All right, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Well, Tom just made it outside and I've accomplished quite a bit. I didn't film on my own because it would be too hard for me to vlog and try to do this. There's so many different steps to this, but I wanted to show you when yesterday when I was talking about a hammer drill, this is a hammer drill right here. It's a little bit more expensive than, well, not a little bit, it was a hundred and some dollars, but um, what it is, it drills, it drills regular, right? But if you had a masonry bit and you wanted to go into asphalt or concrete, you put it over to, the, you just flip that, and it actually is a hammer drill at that point, and when you go to drill, you can feel it going doo -doo 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 like that. Um, anyway, I had to get this out because I have to do some pilot holes, like, just like two little ones here. Right there. And what's nice is they even give you the drill bit for this. Oh, so, that is nice. Yeah, so you didn't even have to have the drill bit for this. Um, there's, a, there's a metal bar that I had to put inside inside of this sleeve of plastic here. And then I'm going to put some screws in there. But uh, to show you what I've gotten done so far, you can come over here, Tom. Oh, one of the things I wanted to show you guys. Did I show yesterday about the instruction booklet? How um, it was or I just said it. This I think is, you might have told me. This is the instruction booklet right here, guys, right? And this is how far I am in into it right now. I had to bring a clothes bit because <laughs> the littlest breeze, the sl or the slightest breeze, blows it shut, and then I gotta figure out what page I was on. Um, yeah, Smart. so, huh? Smart. Yeah. Well, you gotta use your head every once in a while. Over here, guys, what I did so far is I put the trusses together. And there was three of them all together. You had to put that one together, that one together, and this contraption right here, which is a little weird. I'm not exactly sure how that works with all this. And I had to put these, these together right here. You got three different panels. I had to put some vents on there. It's, I'll tell you what, as, as intimidating as the instruction, well, you just step on your tools. Um, as intimidating as the instructions look, so far I'm finding it rather easy. Um, it's now you are well, doing all the steps correctly, right? Yes, yes. Uh, well, what it is, I did the floor um, early because I wanted to get that all done before I could do these other steps. You could do these steps actually first. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because then you told me order. yesterday that it like tells you to assemble the walls first or something. No, these parts, the trusses. The trusses and the door and the front doors is what I have to put together first. Ah. Um, but I got the floor set and then I wanted to, but either way, the floor has to go down before you even get to these anyway. So that doesn't matter. But this is, uh, you know, it's time consuming. These little bolts you got to put through here and tighten them all up and everything. And, you know, and then you had to put these, these ones right here. Yeah, it's ain't like and building then, a cart. Yeah. But it, I'll tell you what, and they have packages of each thing for each different step too, so which I like. Um, you know, the little packages that I showed you yesterday with all the screws and stuff for each step. Like for instance, like that one, that package that I just opened is just for the left side of the door. Then you'll have this one, which will be for the right side of the door. So it's pretty well labeled. It's just, a, don't let it intimidate you when you get instructions like this. Take your time, have a few beers if you need to. Uh, I have not had any yet. Uh, I haven't got to that frustrated mode yet <laughs> where I'm going to, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish the other door. What happens, I'll show you on this. After I attach these screws that are going to go right in here, what I'm going to do is, I believe the next step is, is this window, which is that right there is going to go. Or I don't even, I don't even know if you can see through it or not. I, I haven't figured out yet because I have to peel paper off of it. But they go over the top of the door. And after that's done, then I go do the other one. And then, I'm not sure where I'm going to be after that. I might be to the step where I, let's see, after that door, there's the window. There's the other one. Yeah, let's look how many steps there are just for the door, right? And then I will be on the walls. So, well, actually, actually, then I would have been on the floor, which I already got that done. So then I'll go. To the walls and i believe that's when i'm going to be assembling the whole thing together oh so boy. huh oh boy oh yeah so let me finish this up tom after i get these two doors done i'll show you what they look like and then uh, i can go on to the next step after that finally got done the doors guys now it's time for a beer but uh 
as you can see they're all put together the hard ways hard the yeah. hardware's there tubes are in I had to put a uh, square tube into there hardware had to put the glass on and uh, now they're done the next step is going to be the walls yeah so uh, I feel like I'm accomplishing something I have a feeling with the walls I have a feeling I'm going to be assembling all these <laughs> with the walls because they're the only metal pieces that are really left so yeah and I mean look at all the I mean this this box is full of pieces still so there's a lot to this I mean like I said when I first looked at it I was like overwhelmed just by looking at it but now that I got a lot of the you know I'm on step I, I don't know if it's seven or eight now um, I'm on step seven so I've gotten, I don't know how many steps there are, 102 I think, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm not sure. You know what, that is a good thing to check though. I feel like I'm almost halfway through this booklet though, look. Almost, right? Pretty close. Let's see, I'm on page 41 and there is uh, 96. Ah, not quite. A little not, less than Well, half. 96 doesn't count, because that's just uh, warranty stuff. Uh, that doesn't count either, wait a second. There are empty ones for notes. 87. So I am almost halfway, right? You're like three pages short of half. Yeah. So anyway, guys, so the, the next step is going to be uh, is the walls, as you can see right here. And uh, oh, and I have more glass panels to put on too. Yay. There's like, what is there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 screws and all the glass panels just like it's plexiglass but uh yeah i'm taking a break and uh i'll get onto that oh yeah you can see the glass panel sitting on top of it over there yeah so uh at this rate i think i'll be done this in uh a month or two no i'm not just kidding i actually think i will get done this uh hopefully by the end of this whole coming week Nice. I'll just work on it a little bit each day if I get home from work, uh, but I think the hardest part is done so far. I think this is this some of these steps though is I'm going to need Tom like to put the trusses up and stuff like that. I think I'm going to need Tom. It says you need three people. I don't. So far, it's only been me. I don't see where you do need three people yet. I don't even see how you would need three people. Two, yeah, but three. I don't know. We'll find out, guys. So I'll get on to the next step and I'll. Like I said, I got to put the plexiglass and some little odds and ends stuff together, and then we can uh, hopefully we can start putting this thing together. I'm hopefully, getting, I'm getting a little tired of it. All right, guys, I'm done for today. Let me show you what I did here. I had to put this tracking in all these panels. Seven of them over there. Two of them here. Two of them back there. And those two little ones with the windows, I had to put tracking on all of them, so it's four screws for each one. My hand is a little red right now. I don't recommend using a drill for this because you don't want to over tighten them because it's just going into plastic on this kind of a thing. So you could easily strip the screws. So it's better to do it by hand. Um, looks like I got up to page 51, which is higher than what I thought. And the next step is going to be actually to start putting the walls up like that. So until eventually we get it all there and I guess then they we work on the roof after that but yeah. yeah that's something I was wondering how are we gonna get the roof onto it if we get the walls up first well you're gonna have well the trusses will attach right mm -hmm. and then the panels that's what it looks like and then the panels will uh let's see if I can get skip ahead here yeah see see you got to put the, the ends on here right oh. and then you and then you're gonna put this, these trusses in there and then put the pieces on top of it like that. So that yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be fun too. But hey, I got pretty far today. I mean, I, I put a lot of screws in today, so I'm happy. Got a lot done. It's time to just relax, put my tools away so that they don't get all rusty. Because we've been getting really cold temperatures lately, and there's dew all over everything. So I'm gonna put my tools away, uh, put some pieces in some Ziploc bags so that they don't get messed up and then uh i'll see you tomorrow well got quite a bit got, done yeah i got all the walls up it, it's a chore i mean you got five 
screws for each panel that goes in there. Um, yeah, and the corner ones are a pain in the neck because you got to slide two of them over there, then two of them have to snap down. You have to get a block of wood under there so you can put pressure on it so it doesn't flex the end. Um, oh yeah, by the way, oh, you can't see it so much now. I hit my finger with a mallet. That's from yesterday from screwing, so that hurts. Yeah, I'm crying. Anyway, the next step is going to be putting shelves in. Um, looks pretty easy for this. So, um, like I said, I'm on page 59 now. After, I, I think the more complicated thing is going to be is probably the roof. I imagine it would be. Although it's a little, the shed's a little shorter than I thought it would be. That's just the walls, Tom. The roof's going to be higher than that. No, I know, but I mean, like, even the walls seem like they're lower than I thought they would be. Maybe once the roof is on, it'll look different. Well, for our family, I don't think it has to be too high, do you? You know, you've got a point. Yeah. As long as I can fit in, that's all that matters. Because I'll probably be the only one coming in here. Yeah, all right, probably. so what you do with these guys. Let's see, are all these the same? Yes, they are. Looks like all you're doing is putting these into these slots right here. Huh. Are they for the side walls or for the back wall? That's the question, guys. It looks like for the back. No, they can't be for the back. They gotta be for the sides. Yeah, they gotta be for the sides because they obviously don't reach. Whereas this way, they reach because these, these ends flap up. Ah. Okay, so yeah, so it has these nice shelves here. And I guess you can decide whether you want to put them up here. If you want to put them down here. Adjustable. Nice. Yeah, they're adjustable. So I think we're going to put them up up here. Nah, I think we're going to put them here. We're going to put them right here. That would be the easiest thing. So it looks like you just stick in these. Uh, I can't go like that, can it? Huh. Oh, well, that's interesting. It doesn't go like that. So it, this has to go over like here, like this. Okay, something's wrong here. So this doesn't go in there. So I can get that in. Then I, oh, there, there, you go. there it goes. All right, so there's one. The thing I don't understand, oh, because it can't. These are all the same, right? Yeah, they're all the same. Is there another bag of the opposite side? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, because I must put it here then. Oh no, I put it on the wrong one. That's what it was. I got to put it here and here. Ah. Too far out. See, this is where you, 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 you should look at the instructions there, guys. Yeah, there they go. Anyway, so that's what you do with that. Then you take these shelves. Yeah, watch where you stepped on. Got a lot of stuff laying around in here. And these are gonna go like this. Like so. Lays on that, you just screw the sides in? You screw the sides in. Uh, I might not have this in the right spot though. I think I have to put them in a different spot. I'll figure this crap out eventually. It's, it's very nerve wracking. It's a big old puzzle. Yeah, I might have to put them on the top one. I'm not sure. I hope I didn't put any of these in backwards. I don't think I did. I just have to figure out where I'm supposed to be putting these screwing these two. Unless the flaps are supposed to go down. Watch where you step, Tom, please. I didn't step on anything. Yeah, see, it shows it in the highest position. It doesn't show it down here. Hmm. I don't understand why they have slots in all these spots if it has to go in the highest position. And it makes sense because there's the, uh, looks like there's the holes. But the flaps do go up. So, all right, guys. Well, I'll keep figuring this out and then Tom will come back out when I get this all together. All right guys, I had to grab a beer because I'm frustrated 
on this. I did get it. And as you can see, look at that. That's right, it's level. But anyway guys, it was a pain in the neck. Guess what I found out? As you can tell with these brackets, they all gotta be turned around. Uh. They're supposed to be in the groove there. Well, the, the instructions, remember how I said there was good instructions? Well, I went back on this. I had to go way back on here and let me show you this is why and this is my this is my own fault well Tommy I have to get my ear until I actually get to the to the point here you're in my ear man get out of my ear it takes me a while to find out where exactly this I went through a lot of instructions so far it was one of the first steps that I had to do Oh, this is a pain in the neck. My trusty clothespin. Let me find this. What? What? I'll tell you what happens, guys. Is that they have these? Here it is. Look. You see these pieces right here, like that, right? They show you that, and they tell you where they're going to go on. So then, when you get to these things, so you put them in. Here you go. For instance, here, that goes in there. Well, you can't tell. You can't tell if this is out or in that groove. It doesn't say. It just says, insert a wall channel into the groove. Well, that's what I didn't read. Into the groove. I just wrote insert wall channel. Or put, well, actually, I don't even think I've read it. I think I looked at the picture. But if you look at it, if you look at it real close, it almost looks like it's out. But see, that's just the way pictures are because you can't tell if it's out or in. So anyway, not that big a deal because Luckily, none of these are attached to anything. All you gotta do is take these four screws out, flip it around, put it into that groove, put the four screws back. That's what I had to do there. So now I only have to do that, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more times. That's all. So I have to redo what I did before. It's pretty much par for the course when I do something. But I wanted to show you, show you guys, because I'm, you know, I want to show you guys that I make mistakes just like everybody else does and this quite happen or this happens quite frequently with me because I have a habit of getting impatient and not really reading it going more by the picture of it and that's a lot of, a lot of times that's a mistake you need to read that if I would have read where it said put it in the groove then I would have known it had to go in that groove which makes sense now but here, here's what my logic was in my brain was I figured that these were all going to stick out like this and somehow these were going to get tied together somehow that was my logic um, you know looking at it now I'm like that was pretty stupid logic because you know why there's no holes on the side say, what we get tied to. <laughs> exactly there's no holes on the side so that was pretty stupid logic um, yeah I see there were like smaller shelves if there were holes in it that would also be a reason to put them like that but yeah right it just, I don't know what I was thinking. I obviously wasn't thinking at all. I just went by a picture and I should have did that. Um, but that's me, I get impatient. So now I have to go around and just, like I said, do all them, par for the course, always something wrong. And then I can put this shelf. Now that's the thing is like, I noticed that I could put another shelf here. So I could just have two shelves on one side if I wanted to, or just put a shelf over there, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a shelf on both sides. Um, and I don't even know if my tractor is going to fit in this door now looking at it. Um, I have to measure my tractor. We did measure it to begin with, but I don't know if sometimes their sizes are off and stuff. So my, my logic is this now. <laughs> if my, I can't get my tractor in here, I know I can get it in my other shed. And I'll take a lot of that stuff out and put it in here. And this will just be a, a shed for uh, a lot of the other crap that's in there. And then I'll be able to get the tractor in there if I can't get it in here. It looks pretty wide though, doesn't it? Well, they should be able to work. Yeah. I hope. Well, I got a long ways to go before I get to that because I was looking ahead in the instructions and it's like the roof looks really complicated, guys. Like, like, I mean, really complicated. Here's the other thing. It's like, I don't understand what all these things are for. Sam? Yeah, good screws. question. I have no idea. I mean, maybe I'll find out when I get into there. And then also I noticed that it says here, Less than or equal to seven pounds. Like that's all you can put on the. I feel shelf? like that might be like per board. What do you mean per each paddle? 
Yeah, so like, how many well, other? I don't know one, about two, that. Three, four, five, six. Nah, because so, I don't think the boxes would have been as heavy as what they were if they were only seven pounds. No, no, no. I mean, like, they support up to seven pounds. Oh, you mean with each, each paddle? Board. Each paddle does. Right. So seven times six. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not putting real heavy stuff on there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I noticed it tied it in really good, and the same thing when I get over there uh, after I turn all these things around. It'll, it'll tie it up pretty good, and then I can start on the uh, next section, which I believe is the roof, and uh, that's when I might actually start going nuts. All right, guys, so listen, I'm going to show you how I'm taking these off. So these screws come out pretty easy, and if you're taking something off like this, always loosen all the bottom ones first before the top one, because if you loosen the top one uh, first and work your way down, it falls. So always go do the bottom ones first and then you can just go like that. So this is what I got to do with all these. Take it like this, right? Then I got to flip this over like so and put this in here. And what I do is just go like this. And I'm not going to tighten that all the way. Go like that and go right down the line here because they ha there's, there's room for this to move, see? So, just go like this, that, and then when I get to the bottom one, and I put that in, all I gotta do is push that up a little bit to hold it there, and then I can just go along and tighten each one of these. See, as you can see, it's not that big of a deal. Just change these around. It's actually, I think it might be easier to put these in now than it was to put them on the ground because I'm standing at least I'm standing up I only have to go down like that I was like on the ground the whole time doing these so that's how I got to do and change all these one Number, down eight more yeah well I'm only going to do these four right here then I'm going to put that thing up and then I can do the rest of them because it doesn't really matter obviously they don't tie in anything so yeah well I'm not even sure what the purpose of them are other than for shelves because they don't really give it any really structural Right, it's not like it's over the seams or anything. Right, so I don't understand here hmm. when there's no shelves for the back anyway. It's kind of confusing. Hey guys, kind of excited because look, we're, we're working on the roof now. We yep. got two panels done, but I want to show you what we had to do. We had to put this thing up first. I had to get Tom to help me, so we really couldn't film anything. But Tom had to hold it there. It was quite an ordeal, right Tom? Oh yeah. I didn't yell at you too much, did I? Eh, enough. Anyway, so I had to put all these screws in here to hold that up. Then we had to put this truss in here, and then we had to put these two panels in here and screw them like that, and you had to make sure you put these little brackets there so that, that way it's to keep the roof from sagging. Now we're gonna have to do the exact same thing on that side. And when we get done that, then I think, uh, I don't know if we're in the middle at that point or if we have to do finish this off. I can't wait to get all the way up there and have to do that. That'd be fun. Yeah, but- I think uh, the next step after we get done the opposite side is put up that middle truss. But it's getting nice and sturdy now, guys. Uh, so I think that we're, we're in a home stretch. I don't think I'm gonna get it done today, but we will get that side done. At Tom, the very least. Tom will be helping me. Yeah. Anyway. We're gonna get to the next step. Tom, again, Tom can't hold the camera. I don't think we want to put it on a tripod because it's. I mean, it's it's pretty easy to wait. You just gotta follow the instructions and, like I said, make pay attention and then uh, you might have to redo. But as you can see, I put everything the right way now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and as you can see, also, guys, here's this shelf. And look at that, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's level to me. That's right. All right, let's get to the next step, Tom. Yeah. So Tom locked me in here. I mean, I did, but we needed to. So guys, we got all the back panels. We're, I'm finished screwing them in. Then we're gonna work on this front. What, cause right now this isn't tied in right here. Nope. So until we, we get that- things do. Huh? We don't even know what those parts do. No, we don't. But until we can get this tied in, Tom can't let me out. Nope. And uh, after we get that done, uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Whatever we can figure out how, you know, to, because we, if we open the doors right now, they fall over. Yeah. Well, see you tomorrow. What?
I'm exhausted. How about you, Tom? Yeah. Get tired of being yelled at? Is that what it is? A little bit. <laughs> it's so hard, guys, especially, I don't work well with people. That's why I like to work by myself. It's not anything against Tom. It's that I don't. I'd like to do things myself. But it's also, when I'm on the inside and Tom's on the outside, like I literally, because his right's my left, or, you know, like yeah. vice versa. So it's like I have to literally tell him, Tom, go to your right or go towards the basketball court or go towards this because we can't see each other because of the steps we were at because we had to put all these screws in up here and match them all up. Um, this is as far as and I also we can't see each other because, you know, there's not actual glass. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> not here. Um, or even clear plastic. You think that they would have it the same plastic as what's on the windows? Like, why yeah. is it opaque? Yeah, well, it's like, why? So you can't see in the door when you can see in the window? It doesn't make sense. I don't understand it either. But uh, yeah, I'm done for the day. I think I got quite a bit accomplished. Uh, don't you, Tom? I'll say we went from 0% roof to like 60. Yeah, still don't know what all these washers are for. I'm scared. I'm probably for the rest of the roof. Yeah, either that or I was supposed to put these on something and I didn't put them on. But I can't imagine where because there's no spots you could put washers. Cause like all these screws. You can't get a big washer in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So kill me there. But I, I'm I'm happy with it so far. Everything looks I think looks good. Um, finish up this roof tomorrow, which shouldn't take that long, and that should be it. That should that should be it, right? I'd hope so. Yeah. I can't imagine where all them go though. That's what scares me. It is a mystery. It is a big mystery. But we are just gonna call it a day, guys. We worked hard, Tom. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Because there was parts, I'm telling you guys, like, I want to just show you this one thing on the instructions. Because I looked at it, I'm like, what the? Look at this. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? Is, is it a circus tent? Looks like a ladder and a bridge. It, it was very... Because uh, like it, it doesn't give you and light. And it was this. It was this right here. Yep. What you find? Yeah, it's all It this. looks like that. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little. It was a little complicated, but I'm happy. We got it. We got a lot accomplished today. A lot, because I mean, you figure it was just the floor. That's all it was this morning. Yep. So guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, we're on day what three, four? I don't know a lot. This looks a little complicated here, guys, because uh, if you look at it, this has to come down somehow almost an inch huh this is going to be quite a problem well I Sorry. knew they, I knew we'd run into problems just wasn't expecting it now yeah so yeah, we uh, just barely started for the day I already had a problem with one tiny little corner piece yeah so I have to figure out how to get this so I can get it down there just right here but I don't know how I'm going to get it there, but I think I'm going to just attach. It looks like it goes something like that right there. And then it's going to have to pop down inside there. Yeah. You know, if it was really hot, plastic would move pretty easy, but it's not hot. It's actually warm today, but it's not hot. All right. Well, let's get going, Tom. Put the camera down and let's cuss. Hooray. I think. Yeah, so guys, we got it in there. It wasn't as hard as what I thought it was going to be. It's always funny how that works out. But um, what it is is that you had to push it kind of down in one groove. Or I think it was this one first, this one here. And then get a screw in there and then kind of like get on top of it and press it into it. And uh, it snapped in pretty easily, didn't it, Tom? A lot easier than I thought it would. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do the same thing on this side now. And, uh, and try this out and see, uh, hopefully everything, this looks a little, like it's almost like right in it right now. Huh, that's weird. <laughs> so yeah, so now I got, uh, what, about 10 screws or so to put in, Tom, or Nine more? Or 10. Yeah. So guys, uh, we'll turn the camera back on when we get this done. Hopefully our necks will be broken by then. <laughs> I know, my neck is really sore from constantly looking up like this you know yeah so there we go it's like there and then I got to hit all these other ones but right now I'm going to go up on the top side and make sure it's all pressed down in that groove and everything 
And I'll tell you what, after that, we only got these pieces to do right here, I think, and that's it. And then we're done, I think. I hope so. Well, except for these little holes that it looks like we gotta put these little, little like caps. caps on on those four holes. I mean, they're just caps. Yeah. But uh, it came together way easier than I thought it was. I mean, as long as you pay attention and uh, sometimes you gotta take things off, put them back together. It's just how it works. The doors were a little tricky though, I'll tell you that. The doors were tricky because what happened with them was is that there's, when you're putting these doors up, I think, did we say this yesterday on the camera? Uh, we might have, but I don't There's remember. nothing to hold them up there until you get this piece up here. And then when you get this piece, there's this doesn't even attach until later on. So it's like, you gotta be really careful. That's why I guess that they tell you, you need two people. So the, the whole door actually fell over. Yeah. Yesterday and it even, where was it? Was it this end? No, uh, it's the okay. other end. It bent the plastic up, but it's it didn't. Good. But it didn't break it, which I'm, I'm really surprised because. Uh, but you know what? It's a lifetime, so they're very. It better be. Yeah, it's supposed to be warranted for a lifetime. So, but not when the door falls over. It's coming along good, and it's nice and sturdy, and that's what makes me happy. Well, let's finish this thing up, Tom. Yep. All right, guys. So we got these two panels up there. I only hit my head like two or three times on the rafters. Now I don't have no hair to cushion it, so what you gotta do with these, see these bend like this. And they can only go one way, so if you get it up there and it's the wrong way, you just gotta spin it away around and you can tell easily because of where the holes line up. Yeah. So what I do is go up like this and uh, try to get this through the opening. So, and I got it lined up this time. How about that? Nice. So, take one of these screws. I don't know what I did with the screwdriver. Um, what did you do with it? I put it up on the shelf over here. Oh. And I, because if I know if I let this go, it's gonna slide right down. Oh, there, maybe not. All right, so. What I'm going to do now, guys, is put the screw right there. I'll show you on the other side in a second, Tom. I just want to start that one. Yeah. Right here, there's a little screw. It goes right there. And there we go. And you get them, you tighten them, them all the way down. Then you pull this side down. Put these two in. And then uh, some piece of plastic just fell in my mouth. Um, and then you gotta put this screw in and this screw in, and that'll be it for here. And then we can put the last end on, which gets four of them up here, some of them over here, and two of them over here. And then we got these little caps that are going on right here, which obviously, obviously what you can see is, what is there, six screws for them? Yep. I never screwed so much in my life. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let me finish this up, Tom. Yeah. So we have all the peak done except for the little squares. Yep. As soon as we cover them up, though, we're gonna be able to see a little tiny bit in here because we only have these two windows and these frosted windows, which me and Tom still are like, why? Yeah, really. I mean, what is, like, what was the point of this? Yeah, you can't really see in the shed. Let me oh, take two steps. Here's what it is. What's that? Ah. Do I feel stupid? Yeah. Well, yeah. mystery solved. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now I gotta, I, I hope on that side, it's not on the inside. Which I think it is. Cause that means I'm gonna have to take that window off to take the plastic off. And you know what, that would go par for the course. Cause again guys, this is about where I didn't really uh, pay attention to what I was supposed to do and just looked at the picture. But it makes sense now because we were like, why is it 
what's the point of it being opaque glass For when the door yeah it's got regular glass right next yeah. to it anyway there's no point so let's see is it on the other side of this it's 50 shot i believe so darn yeah. all right well that's another thing i have to do Well, it makes sense. It looks like the glass could be interchangeable between oh, yeah. the two. There it is. See it? Oh, yeah. There's the plastic. Yep. So, uh, yeah. And you see, I have all the, the stuff in there already, so that should be fun. Nice. Well, I wanted, so I wanted to leave something for Tom to do. Yeah, like I, I haven't been doing much to help you yeah, anyway. that's what I did. Anyway, guys, so going back to this... This is why you should read instructions and not just look at pictures. Yeah. These four things I have to do, and if you look at them, there's six hole, there's six screws for each one, so 24 more screws, and I believe I'm done with the screws other than taking them off to get that piece of plastic off that window. Almost done, guys. Almost. This is the one we were looking for, guys. The last screw. The last one, Tom. And there we go, right there. Now, here's the interesting thing with these guys, because we were like, how is Tom going to get up there and be able to hold it in place? These have little tabs, one on each side, to pull it down. So you put these in, and then you just put the, pull, the, pull these down, and it's really pretty freaking easy, wasn't it, Tom? Yeah. And this is the last one. Woohoo, I think I'll celebrate. So now, got to clean up all these tools, take the tools out. Oh no, we're not quite done. We got There's a couple small steps left. We got to yeah. put some caps in on like the little gaps there. So uh, do we need to read directions for them, Tom? No, it's just arrow side up. Oh, all right. So I'll show you what we got to do now, guys. There's four, there's only four of these. Come over here. So it looks like these guys just, uh, Oh, huh, that was hard. Just pop right in like that. Yeah, watch where Tom sets you up to trip. You told me to put the drill in the box. I put I the know. drill in the box. You know I have to blame somebody, Tom. One, two, and two on the other side. What put the drill in the box. What's the purpose of these? Um, to make sure there's not big old holes for bugs to get into. Yeah, I know that. But what's, what was? why did they put holes in here? Uh, like notches. Because these are interchangeable with the ones on the back. Those are the same holes that have the... Uh, oh, for the truss. Uh, the truss, that's it. Gotcha. All right. All right. Name for it. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. So in case you put these on the other, on the back side, you have the spots for the trusses. I get it now. One more thing, guys. I don't know. We were talk, talking about these yesterday, but let me show you something. Let me show you something. You take that gallon of gasoline, right? You pour it all over top. Oh. What? It was uh, Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, the Jim Carrey bit? Not Drew Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah. So these are hangers. And that's what these little spots here are for. You just pull them down like, is that it? That's how they go, just like that. Yeah, pull them down like that. So. I guess, you know, you want to put a hose on there, or let's see, how many we got? Anything here? less than or equal to seven pounds. Yeah. So I'm going to put a couple on, on the wall here. He'll figure out something for him. Yeah, I don't want to put them all up because it's like, I put, I put. The nice thing is that they're not permanent fixtures. You can move them. Right. There, there's four there. Uh... I'm just going to put these two. No, I'm not going to put these up there yet. I'm just going to leave these on the shelf because I don't know where exactly I'm going to put them yet. Um, now I can just clean up my tools and then measure my lawnmower to see if it's going to fit in this shed. If not, then I got a lot of stuff to move from that shed into this shed. But here's our assembly of our whole of our whole shed here, guys. I am pretty proud of because those directions. You know, um, weren't that easy to do. Um, they, for the most part, those directions are fairly easy. I thought they were really easy at the beginning, but here I 
didn't look at them properly and read properly. So uh, it can, it's very time consuming. This is my fourth day now. Um, but is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Now this, we have one problem here in our latch. Our latch doesn't quite, quite line up too well, right? See? It doesn't, it's not quite there. So what I'm gonna do, you can mess with, you can mess with trying to get it plumb to get exactly where it is, well, well level. Where it gives you shims, cause, so this must be a common problem because it gives you shims to mess around with the doors. I'm not gonna worry about it, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, cause there's only two screws on this side. All I'm gonna do is take these two bolts out and I'm gonna drill a hole slightly a little bit higher and then it'll be fine the way it is. Cause they both close fine and open fine. Um, so Tom's gonna turn the camera back on if we go to put the mower in, right Tom? Sure. After we clean up this mess. Yes. All right, well, I'll see you in a few minutes. Guys, it fits. The only, the only thing is, is like it's a, it's a tight fit. It's gonna be fun for me to back out of here. Especially since the doors don't exactly stay open yeah, all the I'm time. Yeah, I have to make like a little latch for this so that I can pull this up so that I can get it in because it's, it's tight. Um, and this has to be up. But I think I can just make something there and then hook it right to here. Like tap like a little something there, you know what I'm saying? It'll, or just like a, a, like a piece of metal that just goes over there and holds it like that. It'll be, that, that's, that's a minor thing. Um, but it fits, and this is what I wanted this, this whole building for was this. It fits, so it sits. Yeah, and then I can put other, like uh, I have a push mower and a lot of garden tools and stuff like that that's in that shed there. I'm gonna take that and I put that stuff in here this will be my garden and you know uh, yard work stuff. I'll put the maybe the snow plow over the side too. Probably where the ladder is. Maybe I'll put the ladder somewhere else. I might put the ladder back in the other shed. I just put it in here for now. Um, but there you go, guys. It wasn't really that hard to do. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not as difficult as you think it is. And there you go. Now the latch. We got that working fine now. I bent this out because I didn't like the way it was bent, you know? Mm -hmm. So now I can just get a lock to put a lock on there. But yeah, there it is, guys. Till next time. Well, I hope I'm not, not building anything like this. I think the next project is going to be those stones with Tom. Oh, Show yeah. Tom how to do it and then we can get that job done. That's my next big job. Um, till next time though, guys, grab yourself something cold to drink. Where's my beer? Tom. You finished it and you told me to take it inside. You didn't tell one? me to get you a new one. Until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge.